Guys, what's up? I'm Coach Dynamo here. Today, a little bit of a rant video. Uh, I've tried doing the nicey nice approach, being the uh, the nice guy, giving out the free hints, the free tips, etc., etc., getting out the information to people because I love fitness. I just want to get the uh, information out, the truth, things that work, things that don't work, the people who are false, and the people who are telling the truth out there, okay? It really, really bugs me, and I think at this particular time during this pandemic, People can sit down in their homes, away from other people, <laughs> and have a rethink about things. They can sit back, reset, and think about what's going on in the world, what things they could change when they get, get back out there and get back to some serious training and getting back to what they love doing best. So to start off with, it's going to be idiotic coaches. Idiotic coaches, guys. So many people out there. There's so many stupid people out there who listen to them. This pandemic, if anything, has absolutely proved my point with that. There are so many ridiculously half-tard, full-tard, special people out there that just, they'll believe anything that is fed to them. If someone looks good in a YouTube video or on Facebook, if someone looks good, they're good looking, they got the jaw, they got the jawline, they got the goony hair, they got the hairstyle, they got the pouty lips. Mm, yeah, people will listen to them. It's insane. It's absolutely insane what people will believe if someone is good looking and they have a mediocre to decent body, which is more or less anybody in their t late teens, early twenties, if they're working out because they've just they've just started out. And they've, they've got the base model and they've built a little bit upon that and they've got no fat on them and they're pretty shredded. They have no idea about diet or exercise. They're just going at it real hard every day in the gym, posting out videos, giving out false information. Okay, and the, and the coaches out there, the, these are serious coaches as well that people listen to. I, I know a guy back in England, he tells people to eat butter. You want to get big, eat butter. It works. Well, obviously it works. It's Butter, you mongoloid. <laughs> it's butter. You eat sticks of butter, you're going to gain weight. But is that really a good way to do it? No, it's not. And he charges people for this information. He tells people to eat butter. And he, he, he gets money out of them for this. It boggles my brain. It really boggles my brain. Like, and he, he's, a fat, he's a fat guy in himself. And there's a, couple, there's a couple of other people I know who, who do the exact same thing. They'll tell people, drink olive oil. Not just, you know, a couple of tablespoons because for the health benefits of it and the hormonal benefits of it, but he will tell them to guzzle olive oil. Yeah, just, just let that sink in. Guzzle down bottles of olive oil to fill out their macros and their calories for the day, for the week. It is mental. I don't know how people get paid for this information. It's just, it's just insane. I don't know how people are so stupid. I just don't know. It's just, if I could give you guys some brain cells, I would give you some brain cells. Honestly, I would. I would do it for free. I have enough left over here for you guys, okay? <laughs> I would get, if I could just take them out of my head and give them to you, you know, wrap them up, package them for you, send them across, across Europe to you guys, across to America, I would happily do that for you guys. Oh, dear lord, I could split them in half and that would be more than enough <laughs> for one person. <laughs> half a brain cell for you, half a brain cell for you. And that would hopefully cure the problem. But unfortunately, um, that kind of science didn't exist <laughs> just yet. Hopefully, someday in the near future, that will happen. Please, please let that happen sometime in the near future. Okay, and the second point then. But actually, this kind of rolls into the, the first point, is still more idiotic coaches. Not so much coaches, but influencers influencers out there on youtube now there's a lot of people sat down in the homes now they're scrolling through the internet scrolling through netflix etc watching movies sitting down watching the television television series uh, all that kind of jazz some of you guys are working out and you're looking for ways to better yourself at home during um during this time of isolation which is absolutely fantastic and i applaud you guys for that well done okay I admire anyone who tries, even when they're at the lowest point, they're stuck indoors, they can't do much about it, okay? Even just using your own body weight, it's a fantastic strength builder, okay? And that'll be coming on in the later points that I'm going to bring up with you guys, okay? But you sat at home doing this, you think, you're trying to figure out, you don't you don't have the information, you don't, you don't know yourselves, maybe you're not experts, you haven't been doing it for too long, or you're just starting out, and you think, well, I'm stuck indoors, 
I want to get a bit thinner. I want to get a bit leaner. I want to get a bit bigger, maybe. You know, whatever your goal is. And you're going to scroll through YouTube. You're going to, you're going to scroll through Google, etc. Looking for these things. Instagram, even. Instagram is so terrible for these influencers. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just, that's another point. We'll be Instagram in a minute. But I will get there, guys. Don't worry, okay? There's so much to go over that's really just bugging me and making my head explode. So these influencers, they, they'll take thousands and thousands of photos, hundreds of photos, until they get the right angle, the right lighting, okay, for these like before and after pictures, for instance, and they'll post them up on Facebook, on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, wherever. I don't use Twitter, I don't know how it works. But they'll do it and they look amazing, you know, skinny, skinny before, you know, nice big buff after, shredded, or a thick, as the girls like to say, these days, unfortunately, that's a trending thing at the moment, is girls being thick, okay, right, <laughs> God, so, there's, girl, there's girls with hundreds of thousands of subscribers and followers on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, YouTube in particular, posting up videos, they've been working out, as one girl, I won't name her, but she's working out for like three months, uh, at the time I watched the video, she's been working out for three months, and the video is how to get thick, right? And she's giving out, a, a, she's not even giving out tips. She's just telling people to go do stuff like eat more food. It's not really a tip. Go exercise. I don't like exercising. I literally started doing it three months ago, is what she said. Quotes directly from this girl. Okay, it boggles my brain. And then she's, then she's like telling people to, you know, ask her for, for plans and stuff on how to get thick. If you want any advice, just uh, comment down below or message me or go to this website. There's so many, so many YouTubers who are like, go to this website, you know, just stick a, a channel up, start, you know, shoving out misinformation and whatnot. They've been training for three months, three months in the gym. They don't even like training and they're just trying to get the likes, the views, the money from YouTube. I'm here trying to give you guys information, real solid stuff, okay? From my personal experience and things that have worked for other people that I know, Okay, I just, I love fitness, bodybuilding, athletics, all of it, weightlifting, powerlifting, strongman, everything, sports related, I love it, okay, I've been that way since I was a young lad, okay, I've been training since I was 12 years old, for Christ's sake, you know, I just want to get this information out to you guys, I don't give, I don't really, really don't give a fight if you like me or not, okay, I'm just here to get this information out to you guys, try and stop the misinformation, Idiots giving out information and so I stop these people getting paid for all this misinformation. It's absolutely crazy. So this girl is like, yep, yeah, we're going to get thick together. It's like, right, so you're just going to eat more calories. Okay. And you're getting views for that. You're getting views, subs, and people buying programs off you just because you said on a YouTube video, eat more calories and you'll get a big ass like me. Right. So basically, you just have to be a complete retard, full retard, half tired, a little bit of retard. And you can get views on YouTube. You can get subs. You can get people buying your programs, believing your misinformation. Not even misinformation, it's just basic information that you really, <laughs> that everyone has access to. Okay? It's not even misinformation. That is actually my bad. I'm an idiot if you're saying that. Okay? Calories in, calories out. If you don't exercise and you have a calorie surplus, you're going to gain weight. It's as simple as that. But but then they say things like, don't eat at night. Right. You know, another myth. Yes, maybe it will get... If you're in a calorie surplus, yes, it's going to, you know, store on you uh, in particular places. Because men and women are prone to gaining fat in particular places, you know. But it's, she's telling you, in particular, don't eat food at night. And you won't get... You won't gain weight in the midsection. It's just like, it doesn't work like that. It just doesn't work like that. Okay, it's calories and calories. Like you're going to gain weight either, either way, whatever you do. Okay, it doesn't matter when, during the day, you can eat all those calories in one sitting. You're going to gain the weight either way. It doesn't matter when you eat them, okay? It's little silly bits of misinformation like that. There's another girl on YouTube. I forget her name. I wouldn't mention it anyway. But she's telling people to breathe the calories out. Oh.
there's 100 calories out. Wow, I'm going to do that 1,000 times a day, and that's 100,000 calories. Yup. I don't know how many calories, but it's a lot of calories. I'm going insane thinking about it. I can't do maths right now. 100,000 calories, 200,000 calories. I'm burning calories by breathing. I'm burning calories by passing out gas out of my other end. Yes. No, these people actually say this. I'm serious. They say this stuff. It's mental. And people, be <laughs> people believe it. <laughs> Dear Lord, what is going on with the world? I... <laughs> this pandemic, yes, it's proven that there are millions and millions of retards out there, but come on, they can't be that stupid. These videos have hundreds of thousands of views, if not close to the millions. It's mental. What people, I don't know what people are searching for on YouTube or Google or on Facebook, or if they're just being guided to this stuff, you know, naturally uh, through ads or... <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy these people exist. They're getting paid for this information. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just need to be or act really, really stupid, act like I'm a bit brain dead, and maybe then people will start listening to me. I come, I try and come across as you know, I I have decent information. I'm trying to tell you guys the truth, which I honestly am. I just want to help you guys out, which I honestly do. Uh, but maybe I just need to be a bit more special when I do that. I don't know. I honestly don't know. If that's the way, you guys let me know down in the comments. Do I need to act a bit more special to get the uh, to get the attention so I can get the information out to you guys? I don't know. I think that might be the way forward. Let's be special. Yeah. So, next point. Right, we've gone over the olive oil. We've gone over the uh, girl who's trained for three months. Next point will be the diet fads. Okay? There's so many diet fads out there. There's a guy out there. I oh, forget. Get what he's called, it's not V Shreds, it's another dude. Uh, he's like, just he gets up and he has gummy worms. He's like, eat like me and you'll get rich, right? And I'm gonna go through the diet. It's like gummy worms for breakfast, some amino acids, a rice cake later on in the day. Not a rice cake, sorry, a rice krispies cake later on in the day. A rice krispies cake. Uh, and then he has one big meal of like steak, um, or potatoes or something along the lines of that um, later on in the day. So he has one, one full meal essentially, um, which is a lot of calories. He had in that meal, he could just split that up a little bit, and and he would be a, a little bit saner for doing that. Then he has a glass of wine later on in the day. He's like, yeah, eat like me, buy my programs, and you could look like me. It's like, well, dude, you, you're in a, a huge calorie deficit, so of course you're going to be losing weight. It's insane to think that you think this particular diet of gummy worms, a bit of steak, some amino acids, rice cake, uh, rice krispies cake, and wine is going to get everyone ripped. Of course it will, but is it sustainable? Is it realistic? Is it even healthy? No, it really is not. Especially for people, you obviously this dude obviously lives on YouTube, makes a living off of it, I assume, because he work, he trains other people, he works out for like three times a day, or, or something silly like that. Like, I don't know how he's not, like, just skin and bone at this point. I mean, he's obviously got great genetics to do it. But he's just giving out this information. It's just stupid, stupid people. Believe it. It's, it's just, people need to read between the lines. Okay? They, they, you know, there's a fine line between bro science and actual science. Okay? The two, I feel, are blended together. Okay? You have to learn what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what you think sounds stupid. And what doesn't? And unfortunately, a lot of people believe the stuff that uh, does sound stupid. It's just the unfortunate, you know, realistic facts of 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 life uh, these days. It just uh, it just makes me really sad for you guys. I just I really want to help you guys out and give you the correct information so you can move forward and have a decent base to start from. Um, have the correct diet, nutrition. And information that you need to be the best you can be at whatever it is you want to do or just have a better life you know so it's the calories in the calories out and there's like dozens and dozens if not hundreds of these youtubers out there but the big name guys they've got like half a million followers etc and they're, they're just spouting all this information like there's another dude like if you do this workout just before you go to bed it's like 10 minutes 
and you'll burn fat overnight. It's like, no, dude, it doesn't work this way, okay? You're going to burn, from this workout I watched, she's going to burn maybe two to 300 calories, if that, okay? You don't, doing body weight workouts and uh, gym workouts, they really don't burn that, that many calories. You need to do a lot of cardio, walk. You know, you're going to burn more calories walking around the block several times, you know, than you are working out at home or going to the gym. Just walking around, you're going to burn more calories, okay? You need to do some hard, heavy cardio, some long sessions. That's going to burn more calories. And he's telling people that if you do this particular workout, go buy my app and it will tell you how to do it. It's like, oh, wow, wow. And people do it. People do it. They go and buy into this crap. Okay, and he's, you know, he's sat, he's sat in a nice car, he's got the lean body, he's got the shreds, he's, he's skinny, but he's got the shreds, and so, and you know, he's relatively good looking, he's got the tattoos, like me, except they're just kind of all blended in a big mess, so, you, you just, you know, but people think, alright, he, he looks good, he's, you know, he's got the demeanour, he's got the attitude, you know, he's got the kind of physique, you know, he looks relatively something that I could aspire to look like. And people believe that. They'll go buy the app and then they'll just go and, you know, carry on doing it until, until it works. And it will work uh, eventually because, you know, you're working out on a regular basis every day. So it will work as long as you're keeping those calories out. And that's where people will fall short. They don't realise that the diet is like 80% of the overall picture of everything. Not working out 10 minutes before you go to bed. It's silly, silly crap like that. Okay, guys. So, next is going to be... Athletes, influences on gear and steroids. Some of them are very open and honest about it. Most of them are not. Okay. I myself am not. Not a lifetime natural. I will not lie about that. I have been on a cycle three times before in my life. Very short cycles, like three, four months. Test only. Just test. Okay. I gained. I made great results on it. Came off. Lost the results. Okay. And these were short-term results, okay? For me, I didn't stay on it uh, or use it uh, correctly, I feel. Looking back upon it, I didn't use it correctly for longer-term gains. Could have taken just a little bit less uh, for a longer period. Uh, I would have had more sustainable gains um, through to now, for instance. Okay, but I am natural for the last, say, I'd like to say seven years now. So, all natural training strength training, just general fitness, uh, trying to preach the right thing to do to people, for people. But these guys are out there preaching stuff that is just not um, sustainable for natural guys, which is literally 95 to like 98% of the population, like everywhere. Okay, it's just not sustainable. You can't do that sort of thing. You can't eat that sort of food. Okay, if you're a natural. Okay, and especially if you can't train that way and you try and eat that way, it's going to be even worse and compound the problems, okay? But these people are telling them to do these things and they're telling them to, you know, use these supplements, blah, 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 blah. They're preaching cutting and bulking and bulking and cutting, okay, because it's good for the industry, okay? Obviously, supplement companies uh, need to sponsor athletes to represent their brand. They do that. And um, they have to make money, so these athletes will then represent this brand. They'll tell them, "Oh, I'm bulking using such and such mutant, such and such, you know, mass gainer, such and such. And I'm taking this creatine, such and such, aminos, uh, glutamin, BCAs, you know, blah blah, fish oils, or you know, all natural, all that kind of jazz, right? And then, uh, and then they'll talk about their cut." They'll, then they'll, you know, they'll cut to a gym workout, and then they'll cut to a, to a. This is what I did after, and when I wanted to lose the weight, I used such and such product, such and such product. You don't need to do any of this, guys. Okay, you really don't. There's a big myth about protein in the industry, unfortunately, that you really don't need as much protein as they are preaching to you guys. Okay, you don't need to eat six or seven times a day to get all your meals in, to get your carbs, proteins, fats, macros in, okay? You don't need to do it. It is not necessary. There's so many studies out there now telling you that you don't need that much protein. A 
a gram per 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 pound of body weight is yeah a gram per pound of body weight if you're trying to gain muscle mass that is for strength training it's even less okay it's like 0.8 grams per pound of body weight is like ideal for strength training because you're not trying to build the muscle so you, you don't need that much protein okay it's, it's about the recovery more uh, than the muscle building is for strength training okay so the, the fitness industry is trying to sell you and sell you and sell you through these particular sponsored athletes who will then try and sell you and sell you and sell you and plug 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 they look a certain way you want to look that way you think it's attainable because you believe they are natural they are not natural i guarantee it okay very very select few of them are natural out there okay so that's that's that on that subject guys don't buy into all the uh, all the products okay buy them if you really might if it makes your life easier go ahead do it okay you know if it's going to make your uh, your work life easier for instance go buy some protein take it to work blah, blah 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 you know if it helps your everyday life go and do it okay but don't do it just because they're telling you to do it guys all right the thing that really bugs me like i have so many people come to me and go oh but i took this before and i you know it works like this and i'm like well yes it, it will work but you don't need it okay you don't need all these these caffeine products these these pre pre workouts etc you know just have a coffee it does exactly the same thing okay it's just it, it crazy okay but uh, that's another subject for an, another day i'll do a full rant video on that subject for you guys okay so next topic is going to be basically the end of the video rethink what you're doing while we're all sat at home doing our own thing separated from everyone else without having to be you know have ideas thrown at us stuck in our head constantly if you're on facebook obviously that's going to be happening still because people these they're, they're just a sheep generation they want to they want to believe what the general populace believes okay people are very small-minded they don't want to think their own thing for worry of being cast out being an outcast shut up you know shut up i don't give a fudge okay i'll i say how i think i'll say how i think to people it's uh, it doesn't bother me whatsoever i've always been an outcast always been the underdog and it's always what's made me succeed in life in everything i've done okay i've never been good at anything in my life okay i worked hard to be good not naturally good at anything in particular but i always when i start something i always become good at it okay hard work beats talent guys okay believe that believe that all right so while you're at home you know rethink for fitness for instance and, and workouts and diets go back to basics learn about your body okay google youtube go on my channel i've got so many videos on my channel about different diets and you know different training methods you could use i got a whole host of videos on body weight movements that i did because i had i had to take a year off training and I only ended up doing, I ended up doing like ultra marathon distance running, and uh, body weight workouts, uh, it, you know, and I tried different uh, eating methods combined with that. Okay, I've got so many videos uh, down there. You know, just like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be up to date with everything. Okay, just scroll down, have a look through the rest of my videos, and there's such a whole host of information for you guys. Okay, it's just me trying to get the truth out there to you guys. Okay, give you truthful information. Stop with all the myths, stop with all the bullshit, stop with all the fakes, you know. So just go back to basics with your training, you know, work on your press-ups, your squats, you know. And then try and eke out as much as you can. Make every single thing as difficult as you can. You know, negatives on the way down, you know, slow on the way up. It's just, there's so many different things you can do to utilize in your own home. With towels, for instance, i got a... A video the last video i did was just three exercises with a towel okay that are going to help you you know help maintain your muscle mass i hope at home okay with a towel yeah it's a, it's crazy what you can do at home you can do pull-ups on the door you know just uh it's it's, it's insane you know do do pistol squats off your sofa you know get the so you can get some depth it's it's mental yeah and do that just build up work like three exercises 
make each one as difficult as you can eventually over the weeks and once you've mastered that and you can't make it any more difficult and you feel it's easy now go on to another more advanced exercise and just keep building up this way you don't have to crank on weight you know whack on you know it must be heavy it's gonna be heavy bro or it ain't worth it it's like Guys, you're just going to mess your body up if you keep going heavy, 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 constantly. You know, this is the time to chill out, you know, in regards to the weights. And just, you know, start from the basics. Take a look at your diet and think, right, how is uh, my food affecting how I'm performing? Take a look at every little thing that you're eating, you know, and figure out what's working, what's not working, what's giving you energy, what's not giving you energy. Find out what, what you're deficient in and what you're not deficient in. You know, maybe a good time to go get your blood work done, you know. Maybe you've got some problems you didn't even know about. Yeah, you, you just never know with these things. All right, that's my advice. So anyway, so just go restart, have a rethink, okay. Read between the lines, guys. It's real simple, okay. There's absolute idiots out there giving advice, okay. They're absolute morons. And people are morons for believing it, okay. Stop being so stupid, okay. Watch my channel for real information, okay. You can be stupid on my channel. I don't give a fuck. Just be stupid on my channel, okay? Maybe you'll learn a few things, I hope. Okay, guys? So, I'll do a few more rant videos like this. I'm just going to be myself from now on, okay? I've tried the nice la di thing. You know, hey guys, die right here. Mm -hmm. you know, being, being a proper mongoloid. I'm just going to be myself, okay? I'm an ass, naturally. If you know me in real life, you'll, you'll know uh, I don't give a fudge. Yeah, I'll take shit, I'll, I'll, ooh, I shouldn't have said that, oh, I'll take stuff, I'll give stuff, you know, I banter, I don't care, I just like the truth, I don't, I don't beat around the bush, you know, I give it to you as it is, if you don't like it, don't watch the videos, okay, I'm not telling you, you must watch the videos, okay, but if you want to, if you like the truth, if you like the right information, you want to know how to do things the right way, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you in the next one.